Hello everyone. So we have spoken about the concept of the ocean and why it matters that you must own a stake in the ocean of money. So now we are going to proceed to the next stage of our learning. So we need to define what a share is. This is the smallest part of a company that is held by the owners or investors. This is where you get the name shareholder from. So imagine if you started your own company and you say, I want to invite other people to put money in my company so that they can reap profits. You can choose to divide your company into 1,000 parts. Then we say your company has got 1,000 shares. Then you sell each of those shares to the people that want to buy them. Those people go on to become shareholders. Now with public companies, or listed companies, you are able to buy their shares through an, an exchange. This is what we usually call the stock exchange. So if you have people talking about the stock exchange, just know that it's a place where people are able to buy and sell shares of different companies. Here by public company, we mean companies that have sold their shares to the general public. This is not the same as public companies that are owned by government or state-owned companies. Here we mean private companies that sold shares to private investors like you will be doing. Then you'll be able to sell them when you want or buy back when you want. Those are the public companies we are referring to. Now, these are the terms that you, you would find in share trading or understanding share market. You need to acquaint yourself with this. For example, initial public offering is the first time that a company sells its shares to the public. After that, then the company allows those shares to be traded on an exchange. A margin account is more like an overdraft or an account whereby you put your money and are able to borrow another amount of money for you to buy and sell shares. A portfolio is a basket of shares, which can also include other assets such as bonds, or you can include fixed deposit account or even cash, which can be part of your portfolio. Volatility is just the rate at which price fluctuates between two points. So if price of a share moves between 10 rand and 1 rand, within maybe a day, several times, then we say that share is highly volatile. Less volatile is the price continues in one place or is, in a, is moving in one trajectory, probably upwards in a gradual manner, then we say that price is less volatile. A bull run is a sustained increase in the price of shares or in the price of a market for shares. A buy run is the opposite of a bull run. Here you have got sustained decrease in the prices of assets or shares on a particular exchange. A dividend is the reward that you get for investing in a company. So after the company has made profits, they would choose to say maybe we want a certain amount to be divided amongst the shareholders. So you get an amount that is paid per share. So whatever is declared per share, you look at the amount of shares that you have, multiply that by the amount that is being paid, you get your dividend amount. Averaging down is a process whereby you buy a share at a higher price. When the price goes lower, you buy a bit more of those shares. So that the average price for your, for your shares in a portfolio becomes lower than the original one that you bought at. Averaging down works best when you want to, to have more shares that you're expecting to recover to the level that you bought it. So instead of just sitting on losses while the price goes down, you can buy at a cheaper rate. Therefore, when it goes up, by the time it gets to the level you started buying it, you have some bit of profit. A broker is a middleman or a middlewoman who buy shares on your behalf. These are the people you send an instruction to via phone, email, or SMS to say, 
buy certain number of shares from here or sell certain number of shares. An index is a is a weighted tracker of the particular direction of the shares on a particular exchange. For example, if you hear that the JSC has gone up or down, they are referring to the index of the shares on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. On average, what was the direction of the shares? If more went up, then the JSC goes up. If more went down, then the JSC also goes down. Shorting a share is a form of trading whereby you borrow shares that you from probably maybe a broker then you sell them into the market you make money in shorting you are anticipating the price is going to go down so you buy back those shares and restore them to whomever you borrowed at a lower price now in this transaction the only thing that is involved is the quantity of the shares so the broker only wants to be given back the amount of shares that you borrowed. He is not really concerned about the money that you borrowed at and the money that you brought back at. That is now for your profitability or loss. Long is the opposite of short. Usually this is where you begin your investment journey. You buy a share at probably rough, roughly one rand in anticipation that the price is going to go up. So you buy it one rand, when it goes to two rand, you have doubled your money. If it goes to three rand, you have tripled your money. That is what is termed going long. It means you are buying and holding, anticipating to sell later. So these are just some of the terms that you would find. Once again, it's not everything. But as we go, you would find that we would be adding new terms that you would need to understand. However, you do not need to understand everything. If you understand the basics that you hope you understand what you are looking at and what you are trading, then you have done well. Thank you. We look forward to the next lesson.